In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to configure FTP Voyager. First of all, we need to launch the FTP Site Profile Manager where we can configure, manage, and maintain our various server connections. You can do this in a variety of ways. You can go to the Edit menu and select Site Profiles. Easier still, you can simply press on this Connect button. And even easier than that, you can simply press the F11 function key on your keyboard. FTP Voyager already comes pre-configured with connections to various common, publicly available FTP servers. Notice how everything is organized into folders. Here is a list of pre-configured connections containing apps. Here is a list of servers belonging to popular book companies such as McGraw-Hill and O'Reilly. Let's go ahead now and create our very own connection. Click on the top level folder named FTP Sites. Next, press the Create Folder button to create a new folder and I will call it My Websites. Creating folders is not necessary, but it is recommended for organization purposes. Now that this folder is created, make sure it is selected and press the New Site button. Provide a name for your connection. I will call this connection My Website. For FTP site, provide the URL of the server you wish to connect to. In my case, it's a fictitious server located at mydomain.com. If there is a specific folder you wish to connect directly into, provide the path to that folder in the default directory field. In my case, I want to be able to log in directly into the public underscore HTML folder. This is the folder on my remote server that contains all my publicly available website files. Let's remove the check mark from the anonymous login option and provide our username and password. Lastly, at your discretion, choose whether or not you would like FTP Voyager to save your password for future connections. At this time, FTP Voyager is now fully configured to connect to your server. You may press the Connect button to establish a connection right away, or you may close the window and at any point in the future, press the Connect button Select the connection you wish to connect to and press the connect button. Congratulations, you now know how to configure FTP Voyager.